What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a Battle of the Concealers video. And if you all are new to my channel, then you may not know that I actually did a video like this before. And in that video, I put some of the newest concealers at the time against each other head to head. And I'm doing the same thing today, but I am back with some of the newest concealers on the market and some concealers that you all are just curious about and you want to know how they perform. I'm putting these concealers through rigorous testing. So I've done a lot of research about these concealers to give you guys really in-depth information so you all know which one to buy and which one works for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the details of this video because it is very intense. So some of the concealers that I'm going to be testing in this video are the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, the Josie Moran Vibrancy Concealer, Huda Beauty's The Overachiever Concealer, Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer, the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer, the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer, and lastly, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. So when testing these concealers, it was very important to me to keep some constants. That way all of the comparisons are as fair as possible and I kept my complexion products stable. So those products are the Laneige, the Eye Sleeping Mask, and I applied this before I did my makeup and let it sink in for 15 minutes every time. For moisturizer, I use the Lancome Hydrogen Moisturizer. Again, I let it sink in for 15 minutes before I moved on to the next step. For my primer, I use the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Base. I use the same foundation, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, and I have the color Honey. And my setting powder for each concealer is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder because this is an old faithful for me and I know it's going to work. And my all over face powder is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So I use products that I'm very familiar familiar with, I know how they work, and that way I can equally rate each concealer on the same playing field. So the information that I'm using for this research is as follows. I first am going to tell you what brand and what concealer that I'm using. I then follow up and tell you the price and how much product is in each concealer. I tell you the shade range and I tell you the key claims and then we move on to the demonstration. Then I show you what the concealer looks like with no additional products and then I show you what it looks like set with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Then I move on to the scoring of the concealer after I apply all of my makeup. So this is the scoring breakdown. Each category has three different ratings. I have six different categories. The first one is smoothness. So a concealer can rate a one for not smooth. It could rate two for somewhat smooth or three very smooth. The second category is coverage. The concealer can rate a one for little to no coverage two for medium to buildable coverage, or three for full coverage. The third category is dryness. The concealer can rate a one for very dry, two somewhat dry, or three very moisturizing slash hydrating. The fourth category is blendability. How well does this concealer move? It could rate a one for not blendable at all. Two, it blends okay or three, it blends like butter. So after giving the concealer those initial scorings, I then go on to wear the concealer for nine hours. I do three check-ins and three hour intervals to let you all know how the concealer is holding up. And then I come back at the ninth hour and do the final check-in and give you two more scoring categories. The fifth scoring category is creasability. It could rate a one for creases like a mofo, two, it creases a little bit more than I like, or three, it does not crease slash minimal creasing. And the sixth and last category is the wear time. A concealer can rate one for ew, get this off of me. Two, it looks decent. Or three, it's looking pretty good. So after assessing all of these categories, I then add up all of the numbers and then I divide it by six to get the final score. So the overall score is going to give you a general idea of how the concealer performs against these other concealers. But do keep in mind that some of the categories scores don't necessarily mean that the product is bad. Say for instance, the coverage category. If a product rates a two over a three, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad or a two is negative. It just means that it's not a full coverage concealer and all concealers are not intended to be full coverage so do keep this in mind when looking at the scoring system but this video was very fun to do I definitely will have all of the makeup details for each look listed down in the description box so make sure you check there I hope that you all enjoyed this video let me know which concealer is your favorite down in the comment section I'll talk to you all soon the concealer that we're testing out today is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. This concealer retails for $30 and it has 10 milliliters of products or 0.34 fluid ounces. This concealer has 20 shades available. I have the color Graham Cracker. 
and this color is a little bit light for me if I was able to select again I would go with one shade deeper so the details of this concealer on sephora.com say packs with 31% pure pigment and multi-action skincare actives the overachiever not only covers and conceals but also soothes the delicate skin around the eyes with every application inspired by the hustlers and those who do the most Huda set out to create a multitasking formula. The formula works to disguise the appearance of dark circles, redness, hyperpigmentation, aged spots, and discoloration with a beautiful luminous matte finish. This formula is infused with green tea, which is known to erase the signs of discoloration and stress, and it also protects the skin against external hazards and discoloration. Carefully considering the fragility of the under eye skin, Huda Beauty added Jericho Rose Extract for its soothing and moisturizing properties known to support natural cellular regeneration as you wear. Employing cutting edge skin technology, Overachiever is enriched with long wearing polymers which fuse to the skin giving you water resistant transfer free coverage all day long. It is uniquely equipped with a luxurious Zamic tip to help soothe and deep puff around your eye as you apply leaving you looking bright and refreshed and awake this concealer does come in a squeeze tube this is the only concealer that I'm testing today that comes in a squeeze tube but keeping all of this information in mind I'm now going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration and you all will see what this concealer looks like and following that I'm gonna jump into the scoring breakdown I'm gonna apply this straight out of the tube Okay. It's a pretty small dispenser and it fits in the nook of my eye pretty easily. I'm going to start there. This color is a little bit lighter than I would prefer for it to be. And it also has the same smell as her setting powder. But not as strong, but it's there. So she wants to give coverage, I see. Okay, I'm going to spend a little bit more time blending this out just because it is pretty thick and I want it to be evenly applied. So that's one eye. Let me go ahead and do the other. Here's what the concealer looks like without being set. And here's what it looks like just set with the Laura Mercier powder. So let's go ahead and jump into the rating system. As far as smoothness, I'm going to rate this concealer a 2. It's somewhat smooth, but it's a little bit grainy at the same time. It's not a very creamy consistency, but it's not super gritty either. So in the middle, 2. As far as coverage, I'm rating this concealer a 3. This is a very full coverage concealer. A little bit definitely went a long way. You don't need a lot of this. As far as dryness, I'm going to rate this concealer a 2. It is somewhat dry, but once I blended this out with my sponge, it definitely helped with the dryness and it didn't tug. As far as the blendability of this concealer, I'm going to rate it a 1. I feel like it was pretty difficult to blend out. The sponge really assisted with the blending process, but trying to blend this concealer out took way way more time than I wanted it to. So now I'm going to wear this concealer around for the rest of the day. I'm going to check in at three hour intervals. So every three hours I'll come on and update you all and let you see how the concealer is wearing. And at the end of the night I'll come back and give this concealer two more scores and then I'll tally those scores together and give this concealer its final rating. So I'm going to zoom in and let you all see what it looks like all up close and personal and I'll check you later. Okay. Concealer all up in my personal business. Oh, I found a little corner at Home Depot and I want to do my first check in. So it's been about three and a half hours. I ran a little bit off course today with the schedule because I was at Outback for forever waiting on my table and waiting on my food, but it's fine. Just wanted to show you all what the concealer is looking like. Still is intact, it still is pretty. <laughs> it still is intact, it still is pretty. Makeup still popping. So, I'm going to come back in a few hours and do a check-in, but um, yeah, Home Depot. You know that moment when you're cleaning out your closet and you totally zone out and all you're focused on is getting it together and decluttering and just trying to be organized? That's me. So, this is my sixth hour check-in and my under eye is still looking good. I have a little bit of a little faded here but nothing too major so i'm gonna check back in in a few more hours and i'm gonna keep working on my closet Whew. 
Okay, so welcome to the ninth hour check-in. So let's go ahead and score this concealer. As far as creasability, I'm gonna rate this concealer a two. It does crease a little bit more than I like, but it's not totally crepey underneath my eyes. As far as wear time, I wanna give this a one. It's not the most unattractive my under eye area has looked before, but if I were gonna give half scores, this is a concealer that I would give a half score to. I would give this a 1.5. So I'm pretty ready to wash my makeup off. I've had a long day. So the final score for this concealer is here. The concealer that we're trying today is the Cover Effects Power Play Concealer. This concealer retails for $30. There's 10 milliliters of products or 0.33 fluid ounces. There are 30 shades of this concealer available. The details of this concealer say that this is a vegan full coverage concealer that blurs imperfections with a naturally radiant finish while providing all day crease proof, transfer proof, and color true wear. This weightless multi-use formula is available in 30 diverse shades, making it ideal to conceal, contour, and highlight any skin tone. I have the color N Medium 3, which stands for neutral, and I think that it matches very well. Let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration, and you'll see how this concealer applies. So let's go ahead and apply the concealer. Okay. This is applying really smoothly. It looks like it's full coverage. You get a good amount of this concealer from one pump. So let's go ahead and blend her out. They blend it out really nicely. I do still see some of my skin peeking through, so I do want to go in with a little bit more right on this inner corner here. Add a little bit more coverage. Because once we blended it out, it did shear down quite a bit. So here's what the concealer looks like by itself. So here's what it looks like with just the powder set. So let's go ahead and rate this concealer. As far as smoothness, I'm going to rate it a 2. I feel like this concealer was pretty smooth, but it did emphasize a little bit more of my texture. I did sense a little bit of grittiness there. As far as coverage, I also am going to rate this concealer a 2. I feel like this concealer started off at a medium coverage, but it definitely built up to be a little bit more than that. So you can build it up, but just going straight in with it is not going to give you full coverage. As far as dryness, I also am going to rate this a 2. It wasn't very dry, but it also isn't hydrating or moisturizing. It's just right there in the middle. As far as blendability, I'm going to give it a 2. I feel like it blends okay. It started to get a little bit harder to blend, so it did dry down a little bit faster than anticipated. It doesn't just move around really easily, but at the same time, it's not super stiff either. So I'll go ahead and zoom in and let you guys see the concealer up close. And then I will do check-ins and I'll come back at the end of the night and you can see how the concealer looks. So I've had this on for three hours now and I think that my under eye looks pretty dry. Ideally, I would like to have more coverage. I feel like I can see through the concealer and I see darkness. So here we are at the six hour check-in and I think my under eye looks okay. The formulation does look drier, especially in comparison to the rest of my face. As you all can see, the rest of my face, the oils have broken through, so you can see it a little bit better. Overall, it looks decent. So I'll check back in at the nine hour mark, okay? It's been nine hours and I'm ready to do my final check-in. As far as creasability, I'm gonna give it a two. I don't feel like this concealer creased too badly. The amount of creasing that I have on my under eye to me looks pretty normal. And as far as the wear time, I'm gonna give it a two. I do feel like it looks a little bit drier than I prefer. I think that the concealer is still there and it looks okay. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable to look at, but yeah, I don't think that it looks amazing either. It just is plain and simple okay. The overall score for this concealer is here. The concealer that we're trying today is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This concealer retails for $22 and there is 
0.139 ounces of product or 4.14 milliliters. There are 25 shades of concealer in this range and the description on Sephora.com says, the essential high coverage liquid concealer offers full coverage with hyaluronic acid. It's also formulated with anise fruit extract and vitamin E to help keep skin glowing and looking refreshed all day long. This concealer has a matching foundation. I tried out the foundation last year. I felt like last year the foundation looks pretty but the color just was off. But with concealers, I'm more lenient with the color. I feel like this one is a good match. I have the color Butterscotch. Let's go ahead and jump into me trying on the concealer and following that, the scoring breakdown. So... Okay, I'm gonna just apply it underneath my eye first. Apply some more. So I'm going to blend it out now. I applied a good amount underneath my eye. I'm gonna start there. Oh, that blended out really smoothly. It looks very lifted. I don't feel like I need to add any more. Very nice and smooth coverage. Here's what the concealer looks like without being set. Okay, so here's what it looks like just set by itself. So let's go ahead and rate this concealer. As far as smoothness, I'm going to rate this a three. It is extremely smooth. It goes on like velvet. As far as coverage, I'm also going to rate this a three. It's a pretty full coverage concealer. You can go in with a little bit and make it medium and build it up. But overall, if you put the average amount of concealer that most of us do, it's gonna be full coverage. As far as dryness, I'm going to rate it a three. It feels very hydrating. It's not dry at all. It's actually very creamy and smooth and it feels nice on the skin. As far as blendability, I'm gonna rate this a three. It blended like butter. It just spread really easily, so it gets a three. Here's what the concealer looks like when I first applied it. Okay guys, so here's my three hour check-in. In the three hours that I was wearing that concealer, I don't feel like it has changed much. It's not creasing, it still is there. It still looks smooth. It doesn't look dry or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and come up close and then I'll check you guys in another three hours. So I'm back for my sixth hour check-in and I'm looking at my under eye and I'm checking how it looks in comparison to how it looks three hours ago. It looks a little bit drier. It's starting to crease a little bit. I'm starting to see some fine lines underneath there. But it still looks good. It's just things that I notice up close. You really can't see it as well far away but when you zoom in you can kind of see those imperfections but overall I still feel okay about it so I'm gonna zoom in and then I'll be back at the end of the night to do my final check-in it's time for the final check-in I'm excited because I'm ready to get this off my face so as far as the creasability I'm going to rate this a two it creases a little bit more than I like but it doesn't look disgusting but it doesn't look spectacular either. As far as the wear time, I'm gonna rate this a two. It looks I Like it's not like it's blowing me away. So the overall score for this concealer is here. The concealer that we're working with today is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This concealer retails for $29. And this has 0.5 fluid ounces of products in the container, which is about half of the standard size of a foundation. So there's a lot of products in this concealer. I really like the wand of this concealer. It's really thick and it's fluffy, but it's a doe foot. You get a lot of coverage at one time with it, but it's not sloppy like. So I really like the way it feels going on with the applicator. Currently there's 20 shades available of this concealer, but I have heard rumors that they are expanding this shade range. This concealer is described as a hydrating, buildable, multitasking concealer that masks imperfections, smooths, and sculpts the skin for natural looking coverage. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. Skin-loving ingredients that come together for crease-free, weightless wear that's so naturally flawless that they'll think you're born this way. This concealer is pretty lightweight, but it does pack a punch in terms of coverage. Too Faced did send me these concealers, and I have all of the shades. I actually did an entire video dedicated to this concealer. I will have that linked in the description box for you guys to check out. Today, I am focusing on one. Today, I selected the color Sand to test out. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the demonstration of me applying this concealer. Okay. 
I've worked with this concealer so many times now at this point, I know it doesn't dry down very fast. So I can go ahead and apply it in the areas where I want it to be. So let's go ahead and blend her out. Blend it out really easily. I'm going to apply a little bit more here just to build that up. It builds up really nicely too. So here's what the concealer looks like by itself, not set. And here's what it looks like just set with powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back and we can do the rating system together. So let's go ahead and rate this concealer. As far as smoothness, I'm going to go ahead and rate this concealer a 3. It is very smooth. It glides on the face. As far as coverage, I'm going to rate this concealer a 2. It is definitely a medium fuller coverage. It leans more so fuller than it does medium, but you can apply it medium and build it up to that level. As far as the dryness, this concealer gets a 3. It feels very hydrating. It is not dry at all. It feels very comfortable underneath the eye and on the rest of the face. And as far as blendability, this concealer definitely gets a 3. It blends so easily. If you wanted to, you could even use this concealer as a foundation. That's how blendable it is. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and let you guys see what this concealer looks like up close. So I want to do my three hour check in. I'm at a bowling alley as you all can see. But I just want to check in and let you guys see how my under eye is wearing. It still looks good. But I'm going to go ahead and get off camera because I don't want to get flexed for music. But under eye three hours and I will be back. I wanted to give you guys a six hour check in. Everything is still looking lovely. My under eye is still looking smooth. I have very minimal creasing and I feel good about it. So I'll check back in in a few more hours and do my final check in and give my final score. So it's been nine hours and it is currently 1.33 in the morning and I am ready to take off my makeup. So let's do our final scores. As far as creasability, I'm gonna rate this a three. This does not crease at all. It looks pretty good from when I set it and having worn it nine hours, it's still incredibly smooth. As far as wear time, I'm gonna rate this a three. I think this concealer looks absolutely gorgeous. The rest of my face is shiny. My under eye is still matte. I think it looks great. The overall score for this concealer is here. The concealer that we're trying out today is by Josie Moran, and the full name of this concealer is the Vibrancy Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer Fluid. This concealer retails for $28. There's 0.17 ounces of product or 5 milliliters of product in this container. There are seven different colors of this concealer available. I have the color medium tan. The details of this concealer read from Sephora. Activate your healthiest, most vibrant skin with Josie's Skin Perfecting Clean Concealer. This buildable, blendable, high coverage concealer lasts all day with a smooth, natural finish. The bouncy tug free applicator gently lays down the fresh pigments and clean ingredients for instant coverage and targeted skincare results. 100% pure argan oil infuses skin with nourishing vitamin E and essential fatty acids, which are known to counter the loss of skin firmness. A fresh botanical blend of antioxidant rich blueberry extracts, deep puffing raspberry seed oil, and brightening elderberry flower work together synergistically to improve your skin's health and overall appearance. Let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration of this concealer. It feels very smooth. So now let's blend this out. Blends out really nicely, but I do feel like I need a little bit more for added coverage. I wish I had a lighter color. I'm going to go in with a little bit more right on that inner nook, my darkest area. Try to brighten it up just a little bit more and blend this out. Looks pretty good. So here's what it looks like without being set. And here's what it looks like set with the powder. Let's go ahead and get into the scoring breakdown. As far as smoothness, I'm gonna rate this a three. This is a very smooth concealer. You can definitely feel the argan oil in the concealer. It does not feel heavy at all, but it really helps with the slip. As far as the coverage, I'm gonna rate this concealer a two. It is medium buildable coverage. As far as dryness, I'm gonna rate this a three. This is very moisturizing. As far as blendability, I'm gonna rate this a three. 
This concealer blends like butter. This color for under eye concealer is a little bit too dark for my preference. It's about the same color as my complexion or it might be just a hair, just a hair darker. But it looks okay with everything all together but I would prefer to have a lighter color. And there's only seven colors so it's not a lot of leeway in the colors. The next to lighter color is way lighter so I had to settle with this one because this is the closest match. But I will wear this around for the rest of the day and I will check back in every three hours to update you. Hour one. So I just wanted to come and give you guys my three hour check in. I think everything still looks good. Like that under eye still is smooth. I don't have any creasing and everything still is intact. Six hour check in, still looking good. I got a little bit hot, but that concealer still is concealing. I'm in a hotel. I'm in the elevator by myself. <sighs> nice little elevator, all right. It's been nine hours. Let's do this final check-in. As far as creasability, I'm going to rate this a two. Despite this concealer being so emollient and having argan oil in it, honestly, it didn't crease that much. It does have a little bit of creasing visible, but it's not bad. As far as the wear time, I'm also going to rate this concealer a two. And the overall score for this concealer is here or here or somewhere. The concealer that we're trying out today is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. This concealer retails for $32. There is 0.13 ounces or four milliliters of product in this container. There are 16 different colors of this concealer. I have the color number eight medium. This is described as a golden peach for medium to tan skin with cool undertones. The key claims of this concealer are that it is Charlotte's most magic concealer yet. It reduces the appearance of dark circles, pigmentation, redness, blemishes, and imperfections while creating the appearance of firmer lifted skin. This concealer is delivered through the unique magic precision face applicator sponge. An applicator which hugs your skin is designed to roll over imperfections and hug the under eye contour for the most flawless application. Magic Away's texture goes on like a new fresh skin. It creates the look of a smooth and retexturized complexion, reducing the appearance of pores, rolling over any contours, smoothing fine lines, and visibly reducing blemishes, all with incredible full coverage. It's the magic wand of makeup. So let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration and let's twist up some product and apply. That feels so nice. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. And again, I'm using my Elsie sponge. That looks really beautiful. Here's what the concealer looks like by itself. And here's what it looks like just set with the setting powder. Makeup, so let's go ahead and do the scoring system. For smoothness, I'm going to rate this a three. This concealer is very smooth. It feels very luxe on the skin. It glides on really easily. As far as coverage, I also am going to rate this concealer a three. It's full coverage. You don't have to go back over this concealer a lot of times. Even when you blend it out, you still don't need more product. The initial amount that you apply is sufficient. It's going to give you a nice high coverage look and cover all your imperfections. As far as dryness, I'm going to rate this concealer a three it is not dry at all it feels very hydrating very moisturizing very comfortable on the skin and as far as blendability I'm gonna give it a three this concealer blends like butter so here's a once over and I'll check in with you guys throughout the day and come back and give the final rating at the end of the night okay guys so I'm back and I wanted to do my three hour check-in this is the first check-in and oh my goodness Everything still is looking fire. My under eyes still look smooth. I don't have any creasing. I don't have any separation. Everything is still intact. And it still is popping. All right, this is the sixth hour check-in. I want to come in and let you guys see how this concealer is still holding up. My makeup is still intact. I'm so happy about how pretty this concealer looks. I'm starting to get just a bit tired, but my makeup still is popping. I'm happy about it. Everything is still smooth, creaseless. The color is seamless. I love it. Hour six. Alrighty, love. So it is time for me to do my final check-in. It is now like 2.45 in the morning-ish, maybe a little bit later. 
Yes, I am crazy. Yes, I stay up late all the time. I'm a night owl. Let's go ahead and do these final ratings. So as far as creasability, who creasing? There is no creasing that has happened. I'm gonna rate this a three, very minimal. And as far as wear time, I'm gonna rate this a three. I think it looks amazing. I couldn't ask for a better concealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the final score here. The concealer that we're trying today is the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. This concealer retails for $22 and there's 0.24 fluid ounces or 7 milliliters of product. This concealer has an impressive 33 shades in its range. The description of this concealer reads that this lightweight fluid concealer provides seamless coverage, blurs imperfections, and offers all day comfortable wear. The formula wears up to 24 hours while providing medium to full buildable coverage. Skin looks smoother, even, and selfie ready. Its small sponge tip applicator makes it easy to zero in on any area, making it your perfect must have magic wand. Skin looks fresh and perfected with a natural matte finish that's never dry or cakey. 24 hours is a long time. We're not doing a 24 hour challenge, but I am going to wear it for nine. But let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration of me applying this product. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this concealer. Let's go ahead and blend it. Okay, I think I need a little bit more. Right in here. So here, here, here. Okay, so here's what it looks like all blended out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it. Okay, so here's what it looks like with just the concealer set. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some finishing touches on my face and I'll be back and we can rate it together. Let's go ahead and jump into the scoring breakdown. So as far as smoothness, I'm going to rate this concealer a two. It's somewhat smooth, but it's just not quite buttery. As far as coverage, I also am going to give this concealer a two. It's medium buildable coverage. You can apply a little bit more and get it to be a little bit more opaque. As far as dryness, I'm going to rate this concealer a two. It's somewhat dry. It doesn't feel very hydrating on the skin, but yet it doesn't tug either. It's right in the middle. And as far as blendability, I'm going to rate this concealer a two. It blends out okay. It does take a minute to get it to spread across. I would recommend applying this concealer with a sponge. So I'll come back and do check-ins and let you guys know how it looks at the end of the night. And here's the concealer close-up. So I'm back and it actually has been four hours. I'm so sorry, the time got away from me. I've been super, super busy. I think my under eyes looking kind of dry. I do see a little bit of separation there. There's still coverage, the color hasn't faded. It doesn't look as smooth as I want it to. But I'll come back at the six hour mark and then update you all again. Okay, so it's been six hours. I think that it pretty much looks the same as it did at the four hour mark. To me it just looks really, really like dry and it just looks okay very mediocre but oh my gosh it's such a struggle today like I'm so sleepy but I'm gonna hang in there to get the nine hour so this test won't be in vain but oh my goodness I'm so sleepy so here's what it looks like y'all don't even know how fast I ran to this camera when I looked at my phone and I saw it had been nine hours I was like oh I ran for my life, Lord Jesus. I ran over here because I'm so ready to go to sleep. Let's do the final score. As far as the creasability of this concealer, I'm going to rate it a one. It started creasing immediately when I applied it and it just has continuously gotten worse over the hours. And I feel like it emphasizes lines and textures that I don't see and I choose to believe that I really don't truly have. And as far as wear time, I'm also going to rate this a one. I cannot wait to remove this from under my eye. This concealer is very dry. It's faded away. Overall, I really don't like the way this concealer has worn throughout the day. So in conclusion, I'm about to remove my makeup, but the final score for this concealer is here. So I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know if you would like to see more videos like this from me in the future. I do plan on doing two more in the immediate future though if you guys want to see it. And that's the Battle of the Loose Powder and the Battle of the Loose Glow Powder. Let me know if you all are interested in seeing it. Let me know if you all like videos like this. These type videos do take me a little bit longer to do, but they're very rewarding and I'm always super happy when I'm done with them. So if you have not already, make sure you like this video, make sure you give me a comment and 
comments. Also, most importantly, make sure you subscribe. That way you do not miss out on any of my content. And I will see you all in my very next video. Smooches. Bye.